Hi, welcome to Power Motion YouTube channel. It's fall, as you can see, uh, leave just kind of behind me um, uh, here in Calgary. So uh, what I really like to talk about on this particular video is I like to bring you our new development of heated vest. For some of you who just got onto this channel, so uh, Power & Motion basically we specialize developing heated uh, glove. Uh, a couple years ago, we developed the best heated glove on the market. So today this video, I really want to zoom in about our exciting new uh, heated vest. Um, basically, we spent months and years to develop this particular heated vest. It is probably one of the best products that we're going to be developing. Basically, it's a game changer. Uh, everything that we have developed is basically just no one has done it before. Let me just kind of give you a quick rundown as to three really, really major things uh, on this particular heated vest. Number one is basically it's one size fit all. We try to really, really, really hard to basically develop a vest that allow you to fit in different uh, body shape different height and different width. How we are able to accomplish this is basically using 3D development. So we basically load up different model and then we actually try it and making sure that everything fit as all the common body parts. Why we really want to do that is perhaps uh, there are people that have you know, wider stomach or wider body type. So therefore, if you're going to sit down, you're not going to be able to get comfortable. It just get basically, you know, everything just going to drop on your stomach. So we make sure that the length of the vest is short enough that clear the stomach, but it is wide enough for um, someone that uh, five foot or someone that are six foot. So we spend quite a bit of time on making sure that, that we can develop something that is commonly for uh, different people. So basically the whole idea is we load up a different human body just to make sure that everything fits perfectly. So it's extremely versatile um, in terms of the design of this particular heated vest. Almost all of the heated jacket on the market or vest, they are only designed to run one battery only. Um, our heated vest can capable of handling four batteries simultaneously two at the front and two at the back. You really don't want to run out of battery when you need it the most uh, working in a cold day. So it just basically when we develop this vest, we want to make sure that it's industrial ready. So we're specifically making sure that the, um, we have enough uh, pocket that's able to hold up to four batteries. And then the last feature that is the most exciting is this particular uh, vest is basically built very, very modular. You can run the vest by yourself, if I turn around, you can see there's at least four more plug at the back. So this plug allow you to hook it up to our heated footwear that we're gonna come out in the in the 2018. And then this one allow you to plug into the glove. So basically this is our um, uh, heated glove. So if I go to the back, basically uh, we will connect into the wire. So once you connect into the wire, then you can turn on the heated glove. As you can see, my heater glove is turned on. So that's how we're basically uh, able to run everything uh, at the same time. Now, let me tell you, a lot of motorcycles have a similar product, like a vest or jacket, that allow you to hold, hook it up to the pants or socks or glove and so forth. But all of those ones are specifically directly connecting to the battery of the motorcycle. As soon as you get off the motorcycle, you no longer have any more power. This is the only one that gives you the mobility that you can actually hook it up with multiple heated uh, clothing and still able to use it just like a jacket or anything like that without having to hook up to a motorcycle. So it's definitely a game changer. All right, next what I'd like to show you is the uh, thermal imaging of the heated vest. So uh, what I want to like to describe is basically there are two uh, heated elements in the front around the chest area and one heated element at the back. The most important to keep warm is to keep the core of your body warm, which is why we place the uh, heated element in the front chest area as well as the back. The other thing I want to talk about is the, um, the temperature. Um, the highest temperature of this heated vest is 50 to 55 degrees Celsius. In the Fahrenheit, it's 120 to 130, uh, 133 Fahrenheit. On a single battery on high, you can run up to four hours. In the medium, you can run up to six hours. On the low setting, you can run it up to 11 hours. Now, if we combine with four battery, the high setting will give you up to 16 hours. The medium setting will give you up to 24 hours. And the low setting will give you up to 44 hours.
All right, so next what I'd like to show you is how this heated vest uh, fit in a different body type. So what I have here is Amanda. Um, Amanda is five foot six, 140 pounds. Uh, she's more of a wide body type. And a little bit more background, Amanda actually had uh, cerebral palsy. So her muscle actually get really stiff uh, in the cold weather. So as a result, this actually heated vest will be working best uh, for her uh, to keep her warm and then keep her muscle a little bit more flexible. So if you can look closely here, this is where the battery is. So it just kind of clear her for, um, just below her chest line. So it doesn't bulge up or you know getting uncomfortable. She's actually wearing quite comfortable wearing this. As a matter of fact, there's four batteries, two in the front and two in the back. There's two uh, elastic strap. So it just kind of keep her uh, body really um, tight fit. So you can see the shape, it just kind of fit her body quite nicely, both at the front as well as the back. I have uh, Sabrina here. Um, Sabrina is basically five foot two and uh, 120 pounds. So what we, what we really want to demonstrate is the vest actually able to fit someone that are really skinny and more petite body frame. You can see the form fit of the uh, front of the chest line as well. And then if you take a look, this is where the battery is. So because Sabrina has a much more shorter torso and a little bit more shorter, so her battery is a little bit more lower than Amanda. So again, it doesn't, you won't feel the battery when you're wearing this. Okay, next, uh, the model that we have here is uh, Tyler. And uh, Tyler is basically six foot tall and uh, 210 pounds. Tyler is basically a warehouse worker. Again, it fit him really, really nicely uh, around the chest area. And this is where the battery area. So it just, again, just right below the, uh, the chest line and just right above the stomach line um, or just right above the waistline. So you can see the back is really, really nice form fit and it just perfectly fit on the back. Again, four battery, two in here and two in the front. So you can see this is where the battery is. So it doesn't get caught or start sticking into the body part. Kind of nicely just kind of sit in the back and you won't feel that um, when you're wearing this sort of thing. So next what I have here is uh, Mike. And uh, Mike basically is uh, six foot one uh, in terms of the height and 155 pounds. So what Mai is representing is someone a really, really tall and a more of a skinny body type. And Mai basically work uh, eight hours a day outdoor, primarily doing a lot of uh, shuffling snow and, and stuff like that, utility work and, and stuff like that. So this heated vest will be perfectly for him uh, to work outdoor and you know, putting a, another jacket on top of it. If you take a look at the, um, the top part of the body, as you can see, it form, hit, form fit him really, really nicely. It just kind of close, uh, closely tight fit on the chest line here. So my, if you kind of lift your arm up and uh, just kind of show the side view here, as you can see, it's kind of really tight on the side as well too. If you could, uh, turn around and then we can see the back and you can see the back, it's form fit him really, really nicely. So it's just kind of keep his uh, back uh, warm on the back. Again, the battery doesn't get in the way and he, you know, he can feel, he doesn't feel the battery at all. It's comfortable for him. Uh, Mike, you might just kind of do a, like a jump and just see how, right? So you can see the vest is kind of stay at the same location. Um, maybe show us how you do uh, shuffling and yeah. So you're going to do a lot more, Mike's going to do a lot more activity type of work. So uh, you can see it just kind of, the whole vest is on contained with his body, you know, it doesn't matter whether he jump or whatever, it just kind of stays in place. It doesn't go anywhere. One of the key features uh, when we develop this heated vest is we want to feel like a clothing. We don't want to feel like a vest because a typical uh, safety vest is you generally have to kind of, uh, you know, run it over your head. It's just kind of really inconvenient. If you take a look at this heated vest, it has zipper in the middle. So, you know, when you, once you make the adjustment that fit you, you just basically put on just like a clothing. So it's unlike anything else that you have seen on the market. All right, that's a wrap. So um, this is the heater vest development. We're extremely, extremely excited about this particular heater vest. I think it's probably one of the best products that we've developed. This heater vest will be available probably sometime in December 2017 or January timeframe. But for limited time only, what we're gonna offer is um, limited production of an early de uh, deliver. So we're gonna have uh, quantity uh, 40 of them gonna be delivered uh, early in November. We're ready for this winter. I hope you're ready as well too. I hope you're as excited as I am about this heater vest. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching.